Hello, people of the internet. Now I am here, back in Bloodpool, and I know I'm technically finished here, but because we just saved all these people from their horrible fate of killing each other, let's kill them for ourselves. Beautiful. Look at all those smoldering craters. Well, I am going to build this town up so that I have a optimal amount of HP for my next battle encounter, and then I will be back. All right, well, that bit of dirty business is done, and we are now level 9, and our HP are 6, and my MP are 4. And yes, I realize that is not the way you say it, but that is the way this game says it. I'm being in style. So, let us finish our business in Cassandora. Now, our first manner of business would be to clear away the rest of this sand, because it's annoying. Ah! Forgot about you guys. No! Too many of you! Okay, so... We have to destroy two more layers. Quickly, because they're getting annoying. They're getting very feisty. Why am I focusing all my efforts over there, when clearly the way to build is straight ahead? Come on, build your tent. Build your tent. So I can rain water from the sky, like rain normally does. And destroy this layer. Oh, you're going down. Hey! Get out away from there! Boom! Headshot. Nice job, guys. Ooh, a strange statue that I will probably never use. Excellent. Oh yeah, and I love how they just kind of go off the screen here, so you never actually get the satisfaction of killing them. Not sure if that's intentional or not, but... Tremendous rain fell in the northern desert, revealing a pyramid. We sense an evil presence exuding from it. If we investigate the matter, we will let you know what our investigation uncovers. A pyramid in the desert level? What? Ruins of a mysterious attraction. One of our people was attracted by the mysterious power of the pyramid. However, there is something wrong with the pyramid. Those who went in to investigate the pyramid have not come back. Big surprise. I wonder if we're going to be going there for our act two. Probably not. Heh. <laughs> the, the arrowhead looks like little hearts. Like it's like Cupid's going around like killing everybody. It's funny. Because Cupid, you know, supposedly is about love and stuff, so, you know, Cupid wouldn't actually, like, murder people with arrows. But in this game, he would. Ha! <laughs> I have officially run out of things to talk about. So I will simply bide my time until these people can kill the monster layer so I can get to doing something a little more interesting. Like exploring a pyramid. In a desert level. Which is not really looking so much like a desert level. Conveniently, there was lush grass just sort of underneath the sand all this time. Ooh, and that is the last monster layer, and we are going to do something. The pyramid has been enticing us, those who investigate the pyramid. You told us this already. We sealed the final monster's layer. The pyramid, the pyramid revealed its true purpose. The pyramid, like, started talking and was like, "Hey, I'm a pyramid. The pyramid is the main monster's layer. Oh, master, please come down and seal the evil pyramid." Ah, <sighs> fine. Do I have any offerings here that are like good? Nope. Oh, so you don't want it? I love how they're like offended. But anyways, we have better things to do right now. Magical Stardust, as per usual. And let us go into the pyramid, which from the sky just looks like a square. 
Also, it would hurt a lot if you actually fell onto the tip of that pyramid. Man. I love the graphics in this game. And the music and the sound and the gameplay. Ah. Like, seriously, this is... This was, like, one of my favorite NES, uh, Super NES games. Why am I doing so bad here? Ah, faces on the wall. Gotta kill those. Oh! Now these things make me wish there was a block button. There is no block button, you just kinda have to kill them with brute force. And this part, we just kind of skip over. I do believe those spikes are instant kill, but I'm not going to test that for obvious reasons. Moving platforms, they had those in ancient Egypt. It's one of those things that history books will never tell you. Come on. Ah! 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 Okay, they're not instant kill. That's good. Still not good that I fell on it. <sighs> oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, one up. One up. Like a bouse. <sighs> Stupid. I hate sitting around waiting for these platforms. So slow. Of course, if they were fast, they'd be really hard to jump on. Ah. <sighs> Got an apple, that's good. Come on! Oh! I don't know why I'm doing that. We got more dudes here, we got a snake in the door. I really have no idea what these are supposed to be, these things on the ceiling. Like, seriously, what is that? Apparently they can't hurt you when they're in the air. Ow! This game really likes upward, winding, platform, pseudo-staircases. There's at least two. Ah, stupid face. Look at all these snakes. Look at all these snakes. Oh, man. Multi-kill. Oh, man, there's three of these windy things. First one was in Fillmore Act 2. Ow! There was probably other ones that I just forgot to comment on, but... Ah! Mummies! In the desert pyramid level! Ah! Okay, those ones are instant kill, but the other ones aren't. That makes sense. Whatever. I'm gonna kill you with magic. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Pro. Ow. Kill these guys with magic, too. Now, the reason I don't feel bad about wasting magic here is because the next boss is actually fairly easy. I mean, he's even more easy if you have your magic with you, but uh, he's not at all difficult to just kill with the sword. In fact, most of these bosses aren't terribly difficult until you get to the refights. And then it's just hard just because you have to, you know, preserve your health and preserve your magic and, you know, make sure you're not on your last life by the time you get to the end. But I'm probably spoiling things for you in case you have never played this game. I'm sure if you're watching this, you've probably at least played this once. Then again, maybe you haven't. Ah, what?! What is that? What is that? Oh, I'm mad right now. Let's try this again. Okay, wait for it to go up. Wait for it. To oh, there we go. Okay, much better. For those of you wondering, no, I did not just use a save state because that's kind of lame. You can tell because of the life counter. Oh, man, he's got Jedi weapon. 
Jedi weapon would technically be a lightsaber, which that is clearly not, so I'm wrong. Forgive me. And then we go down through here. Go through a left-facing door and inexplicably come out facing right. That is what I like to see. Ow! Ow! Oh, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do that. But Ah! Okay, magic time. We're done here. We're done. Act 2 is clear. And we fill up our health, and we go back to the sky. Who, like, car carts the statue, like, back and forth through all these places in between the, the action scenes? Anyways, it's like, Thank you, my master, for sealing the evil pyramid. The man who was lost and died in the desert was probably enticed by the pyramid's magic power. Thank you so much for taking care of us. We can now look after ourselves. Glad to hear it. So we are pretty much done here, except for the building part, which I will do off-screen, because, hey, it's boring. Let's return to the Sky Palace. And we are going to move. Now it is at this point where we actually have a bit of a, a branch, you could say. Because there's two regions I could go to now. You could go to Aidos or Eidos, or I don't know how to pronounce that. It's, I always say Aidos. Aidos? I don't know. And then there's Marana, which is... Huh. This level's probably little... Ah, I'd say it's a little easier. I'm going to do this one first. No one inhabits this area yet. Well, we better change that by fighting monsters. May luck be with you. I don't need luck. I'm cool. There's a Stonehenge on the island, too. Who puts all these everywhere? That is some nasty looking water. Ah! Whoa, what the heck is that? Seriously. Like. What the heck are those things? They're like Grimace from, like, McDonald's, you know? The ugly purple dude from McDonald's. So I was like, I don't know what he does. And these guys are like. I don't know. We got birds, we got jumping, like, cans. Keep expecting, like, snakes to, like, pop out of the can or something, you know, like... You know what I'm talking about, those... Those prank snake cans. And they're, like, on springs, and they pop out, and everybody's like, Ah, snakes! I don't like snakes! And then, and then you know, Indiana Jones is like, Why do it have to be snakes? Look at that guy! He has eye nipples. That's disturbing. This level has the weirdest enemies. Look at that purple thing! Look at that! What is that? Okay. I want more comments on my videos, so... Post in the comments what you think the purple thing is. Because, you know... I'm fairly certain that's a good use of your time. Ah! Come back up! I love how as soon as he goes beneath the water, he pretty much ceases to exist. Ah! Another one of those guys. Snakes, they're swimming. Now this is actually accurate. I don't know if you know this or not, but snakes actually can swim like that. I've seen it. Ah! It's a plant wall. Ah, it's a plant tentacle. And floating plant tentacles. Ah! This guy's annoying. This guy... Ah. This is probably one of my uh, more... Uh, not uh, liked bosses. I wouldn't say hated, because... Uh, good job, Magic. You deserve a promotion. You hit him once. Good job. There we go. Hit him more. Hit him more times. Hit him more times. Ow! I may have to use the remaining two just to dodge hits. 
like, you know... <sighs> come on, come on, come on. I do not want to die here. Because that would just be sad. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! Oh, man. The way is open. That whole thing just burst into flames because I hit a part of it repeatedly with a sword. Video game logic, people. It's what's for dinner. Fill up on life. Float up to the sky. Lightning babies. Look at these trees. They're like all tropical. Like we're on an island or something. Got it, Even got like a little, nice little waterfall. Let's work towards peace by killing everything. Oh, Master, although a beautiful island, Marana is covered with palm trees and seems so small. Oh, now you're complaining. It's too small. That's nice. I just killed a giant plant so you could live here. Now you're like, oh, it's small. My level increased. Yeah. Level up. Kill this demon. I think we're going to wrap it up for this episode. We accomplished a mediocre amount of things. So yeah, next time on ActRaiser, the island, we do stuff on it. <laughs>